Hey guys, welcome back to Cup of Java. Um, we're just gonna continue where we left off, and uh, we left off at animations. So um, the project itself, we actually got working. Um, scrollable background, uh, player control sprite, and we have drawn two enemies on the screen um, using the enemy class and the and the projector and uh, for excuse me. And for the player sprite, we have also had uh, the projectile sprite or class, so we can shoot projectiles, which are just um, rectangles being filled in. So the sprite also has you know, different states as well. So that's where we left off, which is actually pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Um, so we're gonna do animations. So let me get a little more resolve. Right. Welcome to day eight. It's been a while since the last update. I hope this lesson will be both fun and informative. Okay. Creating the animation class. You know, the animation class can be used over and over again in other projects with certain modifications. Uh, that is why the label uh, we label it a framework because it basically reusable code that uh, can help us in other games in the future. Uh, this animation class is a simplified version of source code found in the book Developing Games in Java by David Brackeen. Or <laughs> uh, This book is quite technical and I will uh, probably be difficult for you right now, but after you've made a few games, you'll know how everything works inside and out. So we're going to go. What are we doing? We're creating a um, new package. Oh. Alright, so bam. So we'll go to source and we'll go to new and pakete. And we're gonna call it um game dot what do we call it? Game dot framework. Right click on the new framework and uh, a new class animation. Um, anything else? Um, all right, finish. Okay, we will need variables that keep track of frames, current frame, animation time, and total time. First, we must create a constructor as always. We need the following methods. Um, one that will add a frame to a new animation. One that will update the current frame with the appropriate image. One that returns the current frame's image so that we can paint the paint in the starting class one that returns the current frames index index being a numerical location okay we need to create a, a nested inner class called an anim frame that will be used to create ob god damn it these anim frames uh, objects will be will populate with a array of bodies okay didn't get any of that none of it soaking in Variables. Right now, we should have an empty class called the class animation. So we're gonna make some variables. Ray list Let's see if I find them. I think we dealt with array lists in the in the last um, in the last uh, lesson. We've imported and um, no errors. The array list frames um, will contain an 
and frame objects that will to be created later that have I have two values an image and a duration it is displayed current frame uh, refers to the integer value index okay uh, uh, and in time will keep track of how much time has uh, elapsed since the current image hmm. total duration refers to the amount of time that each frame will be displayed for let me uh, illustrate these variables with a simplified example assume that we have an array list called frames and it contains the following okay This group of anim frame objects is what we call uh, uh, the frame array list. Current frame yeah, would be index anim time. Okay. Okay. Uh, I don't get it yet. I can't. New release. Synchronize. Oh my god, my typing is just getting worse by the day. What is going on? Okay. The thing you probably haven't uh, seen before is synchronized. To understand this, we must first talk about threads. You see, when we have multiple threads, they don't technically run simultaneously, like I've mentioned in previous lessons. I remember that one. <sighs> um, they just switch back and forth. Um, uh, think of it as a switch. You can only be uh, one side at once. In the above example, if anim time and current frame are synchronized, the two will be uh, called sequentially together. If not synchronized, and then time equals zero might be called first, another thread will then um, taking over and run its statements, and then finally current frame equals zero will be called. This is a bit technical, but you probably won't see a significance until later. For now, just think of this is making things easier in the future. Okay, so basically, it runs these together at the same time. Then that's what it's saying. So, uh, so the other thread won't mess it up for for timing sake. I don't know. Uh, we will talk about methods at one um, one at a time. Uh, as you uh, as you add these methods, you will have a lot of errors until you finish implementing each one. Just ignore them, okay? So add frame method. Is it inside the synchronize? Whoa. Synchronize. So 
image image we haven't defined image yet so oh, we haven't imported stuff why is it long what's a long I should read right up on that what's okay so we can add in duration eventually that is a parameter for the method So we we're adding we're adding something into frames. I don't get it yet. It's gonna be a while. I'll actually just copy paste the thing there. Shift F didn't break anything. Nope. Get frame. As practice, you should uh, logically try to understand what's going on here. I think the upside is the amount of time passed since the last update. All right, what's going on? Uh, update. So if frame size. Uh, what's this? That means I don't know what it means. Frame that size. Oh, the size of the array, I guess that would mean. Yeah, how much elements are in the array is greater than one. Uh, anim time plus elapsed time. And what's the value of elapsed time? That's a parameter. If anim time is greater than total duration, which is its uh, class variable, which was up, uh, which was updated in uh, add frame. Anim time is equal to anim time the remainder of to I don't know what that means. That means like division and you get the remainder. No? What does this mean? Uh, current frame equals zero. Well, item time is greater than the get frame current frame dot end time. I don't get it. <laughs> oh my god. I don't get where anything is going. I just gotta put it together and see what happens. Synchronized image, get image. So that's a file type, uh, that's an object image. And if you want to return no else. Return the car frame that image. Nope. You might notice that this uh, method does not have a void keyword, but instead image. This basically means that the method will return uh, a value that, uh, to the statement that it calls. For example, if I say um, system that oh, uh, print line uh, get image, and the method had a keyword void. The method will uh, return no value and nothing will print. Okay, we already got that. Um, frame. Oh, this guy says this here. The nested item frame class. So as you would if you were creating a method, place this code inside your class. 
So we're doing a class inside of a class. It's classception. I couldn't help myself there. But what does it all mean? Private and parameter claim. Remember to import everything, all right? Control shift. Oh. It was much to import just that image. So, go to the top, animation, I love all that. Alright, we have all that, yeah. All right, uh, I guess there does seem to be one error in here. I don't know why it's here. All right, whatever. So we got import. We got import the um, the package we just made. Where is it? Where are you? You might. Create the following animation objects. Private anim H anim. On already H anim. We asked for the bad guy. Uh, make the following changes uh, in bold to init. All right. Seems like a lot of steps. All right, where are you in it? Do really old stuff, or yeah, I can I can just override everything. Make the following uh, changes in both I should write to the running class. So command spread. Create a new method called animate. The, parame the parameters ju uh, adjust as uh, necessary. Make it easy to change how quickly you animate. Go 
where do we put that? Alright, so I'll put it before the input section. Um, within the pain class, make sure the function is called uh, res paint. Change which I mean. All right, a key release method. Make sure the file chain is both key released, key pressed. down will run okay yeah it's actually getting pretty complicated all right Let's see if it runs There goes our reserve. Perfect jump. Um, that's the run method. Character jump. Current sprite. Okay. Who's it supposed to be? All right. So okay, the character one. See that solves it. Yeah, it's supposed to be character. No, for jumped, which is crap. Where is it? Oops, oops, oops. Um, Unless I put them in the wrong directory. Oh, see. Oh my god, I forgot. I forgot. They're gonna be. I gotta give them absolute pets. I don't know why it won't work. That should do it. Let me um, clean and then run it again. Where? Where is the error? I did change it back. Alright. Let's 
strong character. Okay, which one of these is uh, actually this? Uh, come on. Uh, I jumped. So that is. Character jumped. Why can't it uh, resolve? Okay, change to character change. What the hell's going on? Character jump cannot be resolved to a variable. Current sprite, character jump. I wonder why it's giving that error. One more time. Still giving an error. Clean and run that sucker. Okay, I can see animations. He's blinking. Let's start over again. We gotta find figure out how this actually works. Oh, God damn it! It's right here. So the those guys are actually. Uh, let me try to get them. Um, let's give them one hundred. One hundred. One hundred. One hundred. That won't change their positions. I don't know why it doesn't. Or maybe I should give them a little bit more. 300. Clean. Build. God damn it, guys. Get over here. Well, whatever. You can see the animations. So how does it work? Alright, so... Most of the animation code uh, went to where is it run? All right. Um, graphics. Alright, so these are all the uh, animations. So how do they get fed into the uh, the animation? Uh, okay. This is how they got fed into it. But what kind of object is H anim? H anim is should be an array list, right? That we defined in animation. No. H anim. Where do we define H anim? Anim. Okay, we define it right there. Oh, where am I going? Is new animation. An animation is the class. Now, here, no, it's anim frame. Anim frame. Animation. 
Okay. There we go. Animation. Um, frames equal. So how get how it returns? What does it return? Where, where does anything go? Oh crap. What is an animation? So an animation is a frame that goes into a array list. Right? Add frame. So where's the add frame function method? There it is. Add frame. Uh, image and length of yeah, the image okay so duration plus equal duration total duration what's total duration then or what is it used for total duration is zero plus duration What is tour duration? So why why is tour duration here? What does it do? Add. But if image there. Tour duration is a class variable. That's how long between frames. And total duration, I guess, is in milliseconds. How do we, how do you know how long it is? Uh, maybe that doesn't matter. And then after that, um, so that's setting up the animations. And um, animation. All right, um, and um, yeah. No, animation get image. What does what is current sprite? And then the get image get image returns that image. So that feeds right into current sprite, which is most likely an image object. Alright. That's something else. And what else? Animate. Um there we go. You, oh, that is animate. Anim frame. Anim frame. Where is the f method animate? Animation. Add frame. Update. I don't see where animate, where is animate, main frame. Oh, because animate was actually called inside. All right, so an update calls the update method. What does update do? Um, Checks the elapsed time. What is the elapsed time? Ten. Why is it ten? Uh, anim time plus elapsed time. If anim time greater than total duration, anim time equals. I gotta figure out what that means. I don't, I don't quite remember. Hmm. Current frame plus plus. 
Rise current frame plus the current frame integer. So current frame is equal to zero. If an int time is greater than get frame frame current frame that end time. <sighs> Shit, that, that's actually really well. How to implement it? It's pre seems pretty simple, right? Uh, we have a list of images, um, and we have um, the ad an animation, right? And um, it, it links you to the, the, the variable holding the image and uh, how long you want the frame to, to, to be there for, right? So that I get, that I get um, how to do, but understanding this bit of code is a bit confusing. Um, but it does work. This guy's blinking. You can see right there. All right, that's it. I think uh, I spent a pretty long time on this one. Um, at least I know how to do animations now, if I, if I don't get the code behind it. Um, 2D arrays next. All right, so I'm going to end it here. I'm a little bit um, miffed. I like using that word. Um, let's see how this goes. Um, until the next episode.